What's happening, everybody? Old man Michael McDowell here. Old McDowell had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a... Why do you want to know what's on my farm? Trying to rob me? You want to know what's on my farm? 600 likes and you can help me feed the chickens. What's happening, everybody? I am actually Michael Mroots, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. Remember, if you want one of your custom idea intros to possibly become an intro, just go down into the comments, leave your suggestion, and you got a shot. We have a new mod that has been bestowed upon us by High TV and crew. One thing it modifies is different race lengths. A lot of these are not available in typical Heat 5, and one thing that's definitely not available is a thousand percent distance races, but we're not focusing on that today. No, we are going to be leaving it on five percent race length. What I would like to focus on is the tire wear and fuel consumption. Normal times two times three times four, that's usually what the game comes with. It doesn't usually come with times five times six times eight times ten and so on and so forth. You get you get the idea. I want to go through a bunch of these different tire wear rates and see when these cars become basically undrivable. We'll start off on times four as a base because that's what the game already came with. And then we'll work our way up through some of these. These are the settings I'm going to use for the AI. Kind of makes things a bit more equal and fair. I'm going to start in last spot for all of these attempts. And each race, we'll see if we can make it further up through the field or less further through the field. And we are going to run our test session at Atlanta today. This track is basically like a cheese grater. I have absolutely no idea what is going to happen here. Let's find out together. Let's get the video started. Let's go! Car setup preset we're going to keep right in the middle for equal performance across all the tests. And of course I'm racing as my boy Jamai today. Whenever they decide to mod in him as a Toyota driver, you guys might have to commit me to Shady Acres. Another thing that this mod affects is the overall aggression of the AI. They're pretty freaking aggressive and willing to make it three wide at any moment. Maybe even four wide. I ran a long distance Richmond race last night just testing out the mod for the first time and we had a four wide pass for the lead on like a green white checkered. It was wild. Mod also gives you a free camera to move around the track with in the replay. And also you can have self-driving AI that can take over your car so you can just watch them race. Big shout outs to High TV and everybody that had a hand in getting this mod together. So far, I'm kind of laying it to them. We're rocking and rolling here. We're moving up, moseying through the field. I've got it maxed out on difficulty too. I mean, I, just like that, P2. I have no idea where the 16 found all this speed. Just enough fuel to make it to the end of this race. Keep in mind that this is times four. It's something that came with the game. So this is nothing really too new other than the race distance being 5%. Right sides are really starting to fall off here. And we're going to be kind of close on fuel, but we're reeling in Diggle Diggle. Put an enormous gap on the rest of the field. They are gone. You can't even see them back there. Making the move to the high side. Jump by looking for the lead. What I would freaking do for one more jump by victory. Okay, someone is blowing up going through one and two. I forgot to mention that. I don't know if they meant to do this, but mod is causing, like in my Richmond race last night, a ton of DNFs, a ton of blowouts, more so than usual. And I don't have on cautions for this, so we're not going to see any restarts. Might actually be in a little bit of a, a tight spot here when it comes to fuel. We just hit three to go, and it says we have two laps of fuel. We're going to be making pit stops as we adjust tire wear and fuel use after this race. They're making pit stops of their own. They don't think that they can make it. I might have to make a stop. Screw it. We're going to push it. I'm on zero laps of fuel, but we're going to push it one more. It's the white flag. We have just enough right sides to make it, but not enough fuel. Yeah, we're, spl we're splattering something awful, but everyone else is on the pits. So as long... 
I'm trying to blow us along. As long as I can coast back. The one car stayed out. He might be able to run us down. Right, we are cutting the course. We are making this as short as humanly possible. I feel a little bit lightheaded after all that blowing. One car is charging. I'm gonna have to block him. I'm gonna have to hold him back. Where's he at? Which one? Which one? No! No! He's slow too. He ran out of gas. They're all passing me. I guess I should have made a pit stop. Guarantee you if Jemite is ever in a spot where he could win a race again, that's how the last lap is gonna go. But yeah, turn it off. No mechanical failures for AI. And I'm gonna bring that to normal for tire wear effect. I just wanna get things a little bit closer together. Times five, tire wear, fuel use. So clearly we're not going to be able to make it to the end of this one. We were close on time four. We will definitely have to make a pit stop. See, we've got... Oh my lord, I am lucky I hung on to that one. 10 laps of fuel remaining, and I anticipate these tires are gonna be falling to pieces real quick. I decided to go for competition mode this time, just to see if it really makes a difference, but it doesn't seem it is. I'm kind of surprised how well I'm able to just drive up through everyone. I can't believe how bad they are. Even with the adjustments I've made to the settings, it's maybe a little bit, they're a little bit more competitive than the first race, but not by much. Holy shit, look at that right rear. It's like, I, I don't know what was going on there, man. It was just falling to absolute pieces. Both right side tires, they're not looking too high. And now the left sides are joining up. What's gonna be that multiplier where the tires can't live as long as the fuel? Like, there's gonna be some sort of swap over point. And I can't do a damn thing with the 22 car. He gone. And so maybe the adjustments I made, something happened here. Handling is surprisingly, like, it is a lot worse than times four was. I'm feeling a lot more slipping and sliding than I think I ever did on times four. So even just like one, one up, that's made this big a difference. What happens when we jump up to 10? Not a soul has hit the pits yet. Now, now they're starting. Man, I can't make it any further. We gotta, oh my God, it is getting loose. We can't make it any further. We gotta come down. 22 is slowing down. He's coming in as well. We have to, if we're gonna try to win the damn race, we gotta make up something. I'm not gonna make any adjustments through all these pit stops we're making. We're just gonna leave it alone. Are they doing two tires? Are they doing fuel only? I lost absolutely everything, bro. And now the 10 car is in the lead. How the hell does that make any sense? I am not at all sure what in the world just happened. It wasn't good. It was, it was not good for us whatsoever. 10 car hasn't pitted yet. That's why he's the leader. Now I'm just gonna blow the doors off of all these people. They must have done two tires only, but that doesn't really make a ton of sense because all of my tires were worn the hell out. Yeah, 20, all right, 22 retakes the lead. We ain't making that up. We're on our final lap. I've been able to muster up a couple more positions up to six spot. I'm surprised. I thought like a win was gonna come easy here in the beginning. Are we ever gonna be able to win one of these races if it's just gonna get worse and worse? Six spot is all we've got. We got outrun by a hamster. I feel like less of a man now. Up in the ante, times 10. Tire wear and fuel use means we're gonna have to make a pit stop in five laps. After one lap, not much tire wear just yet. It's just the fuel we're gonna have to be concerned of. And if we only have five laps, we're looking at two pit stops already. 22 ain't so damn fast this run. Shit, already moved into the top five. Maybe we got a chance. Only thing is, you guys taking tires or not? I swear to God, they didn't take any sort of tire. Damn, damn, we are fast. Holy cow. Times 10 is where it's at. Hardly anything. Uh-oh, I might have spoke too soon. I mean, there's hardly any. No, look at that right rear. Look at, oh my God. Oh, the right sides are dead. It's like they both, it's like I ran over a box of thumbtacks. Immediately, look at the left sides. How much life there is, we gotta pit this time. We gotta pit, I can't turn the car. It's a myth, immediate, in one lap. That was insane. I don't even think there's like hardly anything I could have done to prevent that. Like, 
I wasn't abusing the tires. I wasn't going particularly hard on the tires. If these bastards, I just saw 24% on the left front, 64 on the left rear. If they don't take four, they're a bunch of fibbers. Uh-huh, we, when we came in with hubby bubs, we leave with hubby bubs. He definitely took four tires with me, even though my pit crew was a little bit slower. I've never seen it. <laughs> it's done, it's just fall. Pull off so quickly. Damn, slow pit exit for him. I mean, we just barely made it five laps, so we gotta make one more pit stop. Look at how, oh look. You see, I just like noticed the, the temperature of the tire shot through the roof. There, it, it's done. We're done. We're out of time. Bunch of people on pit road already. We're gonna have to come in next time by. As long as I can make oh, it, it's plowing. I love how it just, how it decreases on the straightaway. Look at that, you see that left front life falling off of it as I'm going in a straight line. This might be our chance, this might be our race. What the hell? Why is it 31 in me? Bro, get off my... And I disappeared. What the fuck? They're making me make a second pit stop! I, bro I broke this apart out of fucking anger. They're making me make a second pit stop. What, because the 31 was in my ass? I can't control that! That is horseshit! I'm down to 20, I was leading! Okay, I'm upset. I am, and there's someone wrecking up here. They're wrecking hard! Oh shit, barrel roll! Outback Stenhouse, what the hell happened to him? That was an unfortunate series of events, not only for me, but for Outback Stenhouse. Did he have a blowout? He had must have had a blown out tire and someone rammed him. Sent him flying. This is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe that I lost the lead that way. I mean, that's the only thing that makes any sense. It had to have something to do with the 31 being inside my back bumper. Son of a bitch. What, we're on, that was, I didn't even realize that was the last lap. I, again, didn't I get six last time? That should have been a win. What the hell happened to this 47 car? He blew out a tire going off into three. Damn, he got popped. Oh, he got double popped. The hell I gotta do to win one of these things, man? So, you know, maybe, okay, the AI might start to screw up more, but you know, they're gonna start to screw up and they're gonna impede my progress. They're gonna screw me up on Piro. I'm gonna have to put up with it. I'm gonna have to somehow find my way around. But when I got a 31 car parking in my ass, there's nothing I can do about that. Doll, we got no fuel in this puppy. It's like they forgot to fuel it up. And I don't know, that tire, is the tire wear even gonna be a factor? It's gonna be more a fuel thing here on out. Cause we got like no fuel in the tank. Fuck that damn 31 car. I'm staying out one more lap. I'm gonna try to push it. We'll try to make it three. No, we're gonna we're gonna be sputtering. We're gonna freaking run out right here. It says my tires are bad. That usually only happens when you got 20% left on the tire. I clearly have more than that, but maybe the game knows something that I do not. We are all out of fuel. We're gonna have to make a lot of pit stops here. 13 laps. We made it three laps. We might be able to do it on four. The motorsport games could go and fuck itself because you got these single lug pit stops, okay? They do them in under 10 seconds. What is 16 and a half? Main focus is pitting as little as possible, stretching this tank of fuel as far as we can. We're all ready. Whoever makes the least amount of pit stops, I would think is gonna win. Did that benefit me at all by staying out the extra? Lap? I don't want to pit every two laps. I could probably knock out a pit stop, one less pit stop, if I push this every three laps. I mean, we're still under power. Ah, oh, let's see. But we made it further. We're on a race winning strategy as long as... Well, as long as the 31 doesn't fuck me. Once just peeled off, now we're racing for the lead with the three. This is on times 20. What the hell is gonna be the next race? A pit every lap? I like how we're making it a little bit further each time before the engine starts doing this. So what I don't like is not knowing what the tire life actually is. It's so fast and ferocious, the game has given up trying to give me any sort of reading on what the life is left. We're on three to go, we can't make it. We need one more pit stop. How much of a lead? I'm up by a full friggin' lap, man! It sucks, we have to make a stop coming to the white flag, but we probably don't have much to worry about. I shouldn't speak so soon. There are a lot of people on this pit road. Nobody go inside of me! Down and away, as long as we hold the lead, 
which we should. We had a full out freaking lead. Yeah, and there are others on pit road. We finally got a win. But well, how much? What's this? Oh my God. We outsmarted them on this one, staying out that extra lap. I am going to do this next attempt. We'll pit with them each time. But at least I got my victory. I'm happy about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Every lap? We're gonna have to pit every lap? What's gonna happen? I don't, what is even gonna be the point of going higher on the multiplier? They're all right, look at, look at all of them. We're not gonna make it back around with the fuel that we have. Uh -huh. uh, that, you know what, 14, if you have the power, I would appreciate the bump drafts back. Maybe two sputtering race cars is enough to make it back round to the pits. Anybody that doesn't make it onto the pit, yeah, if you're on the outside line, you're screwed. I don't even know if like the tire wear is really a thing anymore just because we're running out of gas so damn fast. <laughs> they filled up the tank. And it's already giving me that reading. It's giving me the sensor. Oh, you got a pit. You're almost out of fuel. There's not even an opportunity to do strategy here. I just, I can't make it further than one or two laps. They just came off pit road and they're going right back down. This is so stupid. We're both just coasting as far as we can. Oh, oh we ain't doing that. 21 is cheating. I've seen that 21 car out front. And like, it doesn't really seem like they're making many pit stops. I, five car might have a loose wheel. I have no idea. Bitch, all these pit stops are, <laughs> they're getting a little bit annoying. Again, two cars is better than one. They're getting faster. Uh, all the pit stops, they're actually learning how to be a pit crew. Again, he's gonna end up turning me the wrong way. Trying to figure out what the hell the 21 car is doing. Maybe they were one of the people that got forced to stay out on that first pit stop because they were in the outside lane. That's about all I have. If I don't even think we're gonna be able to get to him, it might be the 21's race. I'm trying to draft him. We're coming to five to go, so what is that? Like six more pit stops? That's what it is. The people that were forced to stay out that one extra lap, they were somehow able to translate that basically into like what I was doing in the last race. We're coming to three to go, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, we gotta pit two more times. My only chance at this one is if I push it the rest of the way, but I can't roll that far. I'd have to coast an entire lap. See, already, I'd have to go a full lap and a half. Sputtering. There's no way. I'm gonna get, what the fuck? I'm getting lapped. Well, it's the last lap, so I guess I'm not getting lapped. They cheated or something. They got some extra fuel. NASCAR allowed them to have a bigger fuel tank. I gotta look at what this top five even is. We come home with a fifth. It had to be the four, the two, the 21, 47. I'm willing to bet you that all of them were on the outside line on lap two, and they were forced to complete another lap, and it just put them on a better strategy. How they completed that lap with absolutely no power at all is beyond me, but it helped them. Y'all, we've reached the point of no return here. Tire wear, it's not even a thing anymore. It was my original intent to bump it up to 50, then to 75, and then to 100. But I don't believe that 50, 75, we're gonna be any bit different at this point. It's all about fuel consumption. So we might as well max it out, swing for the fences, and do the 100 times. We've just reached a point where it's so high, times 35. Yeah, what are we looking at? We're already on zero laps of fuel. When is it gonna start to sputter? Like immediately? We're gonna have to pit every single lap. We were on every other lap at times 35. Yeah. The whole field is spluttering. How in the world? This might be a real challenge trying to win this one. Everything between 35 times and 100 times, it's going to be like small increments you are able to make up. Look, I have a tire wear warning. The tires are fine. See, all those guys are going to get an advantage. Times 40, times 45, times 50, all that in between 35 and 100. It's just, okay, you're able to last a little bit longer with your fuel. We are a lap? How is the six car staying out this long? Bro, six has a bigger fuel cell. I don't get it. I don't under, I think the AI is allowed to cheat. This is bullshit. How is anybody able to make a lap competitively here? I haven't seen the front straightaway since the initial start. This is fucking stupid.
I'm a lap down in 37th. There, oh, I, let me just try it. I'm not gonna be able to make it back around. I'm gonna stay out. I'm not gonna pit this time. And we're gonna see how far we freaking make it. I don't think, I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe it will. You're gonna blow a tire soon. I'm gonna blow a tire. Well, I can't tell. The tire wear indicator ain't working. Okay, this is working. Tire. Did I blow out? Why do I have damage? I blew out a tire. I am, I am slight, like, I can feel it. It feels like the way it feels. Yeah, Don't look at that shit. I got smoke billowing out of me. Tire. And now I, I can't refire it. What the hell happened to my car? Right Engine time. keeps, like, turning Don't over a little again. bit, but then it dies again. We must not have any tires, even though it says a hundreds across the board. See, this is what I get. Instead of pin every lap, like a good little boy, like I should have, I tried to risk it for the biscuit, and it fucked me hard. At least I won't be speeding on pit road. How much damage do I have? 14 seconds! That's like a second pit stop! Where was the car? The smoke was ahead of the car! Oh, I guess I'll make another pit stop! Well, my friends, as I leave the pit road for what I believe is the final time, I think I'm enough laps down. This should be our last lap. Hallelujah! The 62 car appears to be the one that is going to claim the checkered flag with Hubby Bubby in second spot. We, uh, yeah, we're 70 seconds off the next closest guy. Past this lap, 38 seconds. It's usually sub 30. We finished four laps down, not in contention at all. It took over 12 minutes to complete a race that should have been done in under seven. Whatever, if you guys want to see me try this at other tracks, let me know down in the comments. Um, 100%, I wonder if 50% and 75 would have been easier to drive on. Like there would have been some resemblance of a race in there. Maybe we could find out. We go to another track, but you know, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed. At least we got one win out of it. That was, that was the definition of pain. Holy shit, I can't believe how bad that 100% race went. I was expecting a little bit better. I'll see you in the next video I do. Thank you guys for watching. I love how every single last one of you. I'm done. I need to pop some Accenture to take a nap. Goodbye!